it's really just a perfect moment in time. Have e- everything about Shane McMahon's return? Shane McMahon. Oh, son of a bitch. We did it. We did it already. The best in the world. Rules are rules, Sam. You all right, Cook? <laughs> Starts off early. You all right, Cook? You all right, sir? <laughs> it, 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 you know what? I guess I'll let Mark keep saying sir, and we're going to be fine with that. We're going to be fine. Because, well, I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? No choice. No, no, so. You all right, Cook? Shane McMahon! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it really was kind of just this perfect, uh, this perfect moment in time. It was, it was spectacular and we'll never, we'll never get something so great again. That was something. Mark, how's, something. how's Roots today? Oh, uh, Roots, I'll tell you what, it's the second week that Vernon is back outside at the countryside bakery with all those flavors of whoopie pies. Whoopie, whoopie pies. pies. So good. I hate everything. Whoopie I'm sorry. Zone. I'm sorry, Big Jim. I'm Come on, let's do it together. I'm sorry. Whoopie. No. No, I didn't want to do it together. And then we ended up doing it together. Where, where did Jim go? Uh oh. Big Jim had to run. He has to make poopy. He got upset. <laughs> That's how we could carry all without him. That's fair. It happened. Jim's screen just went black real quick. I have to go back. I want to watch the video. And then and we just see get the a text and he goes, uh oh. The moment uh-oh. before he went the screen went black. Just the look of terror on his face. Well, he realized it was, it was more because than just me and breaking. Mark because Mark and I both said whoopee at the same time. So I thought he was just upset about that. I thought that's and I guess what it was not. too. He still has the old podcast well, three C T shirt on too. Yeah, we'll be we'll be completely. I think I still have here. you on mine. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Shut up. Um, but uh, we'll be completely honest. Big Jim had all of the topics for this week. Um, literally, none of us brought anything to the table meaningful. Um, I can tell you how Jim's gone because Jim chose to leave. I can tell you what the categories of Music Jeopardy are tonight. Oh, all right, I'm in. I'm listening. Good like that. Sure. Um, first line lyrics. I give you the song title. I'm looking for the very first line of the song. I like it. Before and after, one of my favorite yeah. categories. Now, how's now, that work? Mark, do you, yeah, you, you struggle mightily for whatever reason. I haven't watched Jeopardy since Hector was a pup. So before and after, Mark, that is when the answer of the first part of the clue, the last word of the first part of the answer the last word of the first part of the answer is the first word of the second part of the clue. An answer. So it could be like Taylor Swift wind. Correct. Yes. Like if I said like, who is the singer of the album? What is it? Midnight's. And what is it called? When a quick breeze blows by you, it'd be Taylor Swift winds. Correct. I'll be darned. What is Taylor Swift wind? That would be the answer. Correct. Is there any, what any topics on Big Time Rush, Smokey? Uh, no. Nineties uh, one hit wonders, nineteen ninety five to nineteen ninety nine. I'm in. And we need to know the full answer. I, I want the entire title. That the whole title has to be correct. I'm not giving any leeway there. Uh, I have a title called Books. <laughs> Books and a musical potpourri, Uh-oh. which is a grab bag of, of topics. That that could be anything. I think uh, I think there's someone at my door. Oh God! I might have is to excuse it, myself. Is it Hillbilly? Moment, like, no, I think it's uh, I think it's the OG. The whole oh, I'd love to have OG guest spot on the show. I, I'll see if I will make a run in. Let's see if he makes a right run in. Back. A hot tag. All right, Tim is two. Jesus. <laughs> We're having a real good Tuesday show here, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We are, in. and like, I wish this were like April Fool's gimmick, but it's not because what is what is it's, it's, it's live definitely way past the, that. The three CT pod. You think we can say a, a, a naughty word here now? Yeah, and never tell Jim it'll sneak on the air because he won't know to edit it. Cunt. <laughs> Don't tell him. 
I didn't say that. That wasn't me. Who who did say it? Maybe me? maybe that <laughs> it was me. It, it was, was me. me, Austin. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I am the bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm the bitch. Speaking of JR, I've actually started reading Did Mark finish his story yet? Guy. No, but OG may be making a run in. Seriously. How about that? Yeah, you yeah. you you took off real quick. I did. Apparently there was a rap at Mark's door. A r- old rap tap tapping. Mark left. I, I went over the categories for Music Jeopardy tonight since you weren't here and we needed something to kill the time. That's fine. Do you want to hear them real quick? Um, I'll get surprised when we get there. All right. Um, But yeah, so... Before and after. Okay. They're all before and after. All of them. 25 before 25. and after. 25. I love that. Actually, I could probably do that. That'd be a hoot too. And look at this, Mark. We're are you back. okay? CT Pod Live Tuesday. I'm back. <laughs> so is everything okay over there at Hot and Stein Estates, Mark? There's a special guest here at Hot and Stein Estates. Oh boy, Ooh, I'm excited. Who do we got? Come on over and say hello for the first time. Who Where's is the OG? It? It's the OG. The OG's here. OG's here. I acknowledge him. Acknowledge right. the OG. This is this is Mark's father, correct? That is. It's my loving father. Can he hear us? Can you hear him all right, Gramps? I can hear you. Ask him what the hell he did to you. <laughs> What'd you do? How'd you end up like this, Mark? <laughs> now you can, you can hear him now? Yeah. Now he can hear you. Oh, uh, Is this OG? That's the OG. Yeah. Hi. D- did you drop Mark as a child? <laughs> uh, well, you know. You know. <laughs> no, not, really. not really. Not really. OG said he did not. No, he did. He did not deny it. That. <laughs> OG. I, I saw OG, uh, Mark's father, raising one of the clowns at a carnival, and then throw the perfect strike. And dunk that son of yep. a bitch in a tank of water. Oh, yep. yeah. Yep, that was the insulting clown. Yeah. It was the insulting clown shouting insults. Yep. And OG yeah, said, insult. no, not today. You're respecting my name. And dunk that son of a bitch. He said, no more. How about that? No, yeah, I remember curse, that. Fun. Curse splash. Got him. I was eating the funnel cake. I'll never forget it. Great times at the I fair. Smokey's having a blast at the Great Elizabeth Town Fair. Oh, God. Right. I love funnel cakes. I'm now. I'm, I'm no. hungry for a funnel cake now. I'm hungry. Goddamn it! I I need a funnel I cake. Eat, God damn it! <laughs> it on. was nice to talk to you, Mister G. Time to eat. God damn it! The OG's here. He's sitting in, the in the studio. In the studio, you're right. <laughs> we could talk about Ninety Day Fiance. No, nah, I don't think I don't think we can fit that in this week, Mark. We'll have to move that to next Wednesday's show. All right, next Wednesday, you going to be around, Gramps? I don't know. He doesn't know if he'll be around for next Wednesday. show. He can pencil us in, but he's a busy man. He is. He's a busy man. Someone's got to take care of old Margaret. That's right. That's right. Uh, Smokey, I think he's off the rails already. Oh, man, it it, it went off the rails from the start. Yeah, we got to get back on the rails. From the start. Smokey, I think you have a Jeopardy, right? I do. Let's. Do you want to do Jeopardy? Yeah, let's do the Jeopardy. Let's hit the Jeopardy. Let's do Jeopardy. Right, let me hit the. Uh... I gotta find a better, a better Jeopardy. This eight bit one is harsh. One's rough. I you love just... it. You love it. All right, Tim loves it. We're gonna keep it. You just gotta turn it down, man. It's too loud for me. I can't even think. I like it. Is that better, Ryan? No, little... it's not. It's actually didn't go down at all. It did go down. Is that better? <laughs> it, 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 it actually did. Ryan, he, I don't. Oh, wait, hold on, Ryan. Is it better now? Yes, yeah, better. All right, perfect. Because <laughs> it's off. That's great. I love it. Alrighty, uh, so uh, Jeopardy, can you guys see my screen today? No. There we go. Yes. Look at oh, it. There it is. There it is. Box! There's the screen. Yeah, so I've got uh, first line lyrics. What's that tab say? Pornhub? It does say the Pornhub. Got it. <laughs> Uh, before and after, I'm single. I don't care. <laughs> I'm hard. 90s one-hit wonders, both. 1994 to 1995. The answers must be 100 percent correct for me to give you the points. Okay. Oh God. Books, and I've capitalized it because I forgot to change the title when I did it right before I went live. Books. And a musical a potpourri. 
All right. We determined uh, in the back who was going to go first. And uh, it is uh, Mark. Mark, you get to go first tonight. Are you serious? Yes, just because OG's in the house. OG's in the house. All right, I'm going to take, what's that one about um, first line lyrics for 100? First line lyrics for 100. And again, I have to read the entire clue before you answer. You answer by shouting your name out. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. This is the opening lyrics to Hotel California. Big Jim. Or Jim. Uh, on a what is on a dark desert highway? I'm, I don't know how far I need. That okay. is correct. On a dark desert highway. That is correct, Jim. I, I didn't know how far I needed to go with that yep, one. That's fine. Just the first lyric ish. Perfect. Perfect. I will ask if I need more. All right. Uh, first line lyrics for two, please. For two. This is the opening lyrics to America the Beautiful. Tim. Tim. What is oh beautiful for spacious skies? What is oh beautiful for spacious skies? Um, first, first three. First line lyrics for three. This is the opening lyrics to Basket Case by Green Day. Mark. Mark. What is do you have the time? A little bit more. To listen to me whine. That is correct. Mark. Mark is on the board. Everybody's in the positive. I'm in the positive for a change. Let's go with uh, first line lyrics for 400. For four, Pat. <laughs> this is the opening lyrics to Friends in Low Places by Garth Tim. Brooks. Big... Tim. Uh, what is Blame It All on My Roots? Whoop. A little bit more. <laughs> I, I, I could have kept going. Yeah, we all. <laughs> Here, I blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie affair. Man, that's I'll good enough for me. My apologies. I thought. I only wrote down blame it all on my roots on my little note cards. Well, I just wanted to prove that I knew more going in. So no, no. Like we, we, I me, believe you. You showed me a, an inch, and I gave you a little more. Uh, <laughs> That's all I show everybody. Giggity, 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 you can giggity. clip that, too. Uh, f- uh, first five. First five. This is the opening lyrics to These Eyes by the Guest Who. I learned my lesson from last Jeopardy, and I'm not doing this. I don't have the guts to try it. Do, 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 do. These eyes. That was the first thing that popped in my head. I'm like, is, These that, eyes. is that actually it? You Damn would it. have been correct. You Damn it. Been correct. They were singing it in Super Bad, too. These eyes. <laughs> Uh, it's me. Tim, um, controls to you. Musical potpourri for one. Musical potpourri for one. This song was the theme song to the TV show Party of Five. Everybody wants to be closer to free by the uh, Bodine. Yes. What a, yes, what a jam. Watch Party Five. Neither did I, but I love that song. It's a good little bop. Uh, potpourri Dos. Potpourri Dos. This is Elvis's middle name. Big Jim. Mark. Big Jim. What is Aaron? What is A. A. Ron? A. A. Ron. Elvis Aaron Presley. Elvis yep. Aaron Presley. Yes, sir. Correct. Elvis A. A. Ron Presley. Uh, musical potpourri for three, please. Hold on. The host needs a drink. It's okay. What was it again? Musical potpourri for 300, please. Potpourri for three. This was the first rap single to hit the Billboard Top 40. Mark. Mark. What is Rapper's Delight? You're goddamn right. Ooh. Rapper's Delight. Well, I didn't guess on that one. I was going to say Walk This Way. <laughs> I guess it's not just a straight rap song. I'll, let me try that musical potpourri for four heart. Musical potpourri for four hundred. <laughs> for heart. The animated TV show where the band No Doubt played at a prom in a 2001 episode titled Kidney Boy and Hamster Girl. There's like one of three that are in my head. What is King of the Hill? Oh, that wasn't one of the three. That was the one that was Bobby. in my head. It was King of the Hill. Bobby. Bobby. 
Mark, control to you. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's close out musical pop pourri for five horror. Musical pourri for five horror. <laughs> this is the. Why is it so small? This is the Alanis Morissette song that contains the phrase "Jagged Little Pill," the title of her debut album. Holy cats. <laughs> What is you learn? The lyrics would read, oh, follow it down. Right. What a jagged little pill. It feels so God good. Dang it, Bobby. Swimming in your stomach. That's why it's so tiny. Yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> and that's uh, Musical Potpourri. We're done with that. we got three categories left. Before and after. 90s One Hit Wonders. 95 to 99. And books. Books. Whose board is it, Mark? Mark's it's board. Is it my board? It, it is. is your board, my dude. All right, I'll do the One Hit Wonders for a horror. One hit wonders oh. for a hundred. The band New Radicals had a hit with this song. Remember, it must be 100% correct. Mark. Mark. What is you get what you give? What is you get what you give? Nice. Mark takes the lead. Let's go with uh, one hit wonders for two hard. <laughs> Donna Lewis's only hit song released in 1996. I have a guess, but I don't want to take it. Do it, coward. Coward, you fucking yellow. Oh, man. All right, I'll go ahead. Is it too late? No, no, uh, no. That... You guys decide. I heard the doo doo doo. No, I hit it by accident. <laughs> right, I'll go with what is I love you always forever. What is I love you always? No, forever? I hit. See, I hit that sounder, so it, that, that doesn't. <laughs> that, that, yeah, it's a buzzer beater. I love well. that song. That was a upon, damn great upon song. Upon further too. review, it didn't. Ha- it didn't hit. That was a freaking bop, man. That was a hell of a bop. <laughs> All right, let's do three hundred on those one hit one or three hundred. Three hundred. <laughs> Tracy Bonham's repetitive number one hit on the U.S. alternative airplay chart in 1996. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking hate that I don't know this. Um I'm gonna take a guess. Tim. Tim. What is where have all the cowboys gone? No, sir. Okay, close enough. That was Paul enough for me. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm a coward. It was repetitive because the title was called Mother Mother. Ah, uh, uh, I don't remember. I thought that the one. song was actually repetitive. Repetitive. Tricky. Well, she did say "mother, mother" a lot in, in in the song as well. Mother, mother. All right, let's stick with the uh, one hit wonders for four hard. Wonder, wonder, hundred. Everybody's free to wear sunscreen was a spoken word hit in 1997 for this director. It climbed as high as 45 on the Hot 100 list. Spoken word hit, huh? Do you guys remember this song at all? Yes. It was a hit for director Boz Lerman. No uh, shit. I Oz. I would probably know it if I heard it. I can't. I you can't. Absolutely would. After after the show, we'll pull it up and give you a sample. Yeah, I can't pick it out of my head right now. Boz all right, let's Lerman. close out. Uh, one hit wonders for five hundred. One hit for five hundred. Again, this is from ninety five to ninety nine. The song Better Days and the Bottom Drops Out was a one-hit wonder for this 90s band. I got the whole song just bopping in my head right now, and I don't know nothing about this fucking song. Same. I've seen better days. And the Bottom Drops Out was by Citizen King. The band Citizen uh, King. Citizen King. I don't know what he I had a CD, like a comp CD with them on there, and that's one of the ones that I knew. And it was the first. I'm adding that to my playlist. It was the first right one now. I uh, I wrote down. <clears throat> We're well, down to books and before and after. Mark, you're in the lead with 900. Something's wrong. <laughs> uh, something is wrong. Let's do books for 300. Books for 300. He knows the game. This art artist's autobiography is titled Miles. This was an easy one. Smiles Davis. Oh. 
Yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah, peeing your pants is cool. Consider me Miles Davis. Miles. <laughs> uh, let's try books for one heart. One books for one heart. a little bit easier here. This is the title of the autobiography of Red Hot Chili Peppers vocalist Anthony Kiedis. So much easier this one is. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the book's called Scar Tissue. Oh. oh. I was going to guess before... socks out, but hey, whatever. Before and after for a heart. Now we're going to go away from books before and after for a hundred. A, a 2006 Justin Timberlake song, which won a Grammy in 2007, and a 1980 ACDC album. Big Jim. Tim. Tim. Damn it. What is Sexy Back in Black? What is Sexy Back in Black? Motherfucker. Yeah. Love a good uh, before and after category. Go Bucks. Two. Bucks for two. I got both. This rock star's memoir is titled The Heroin Diaries. Big Jim. Big Jim. Who is Nikki Six? Who is Nikki Six? Uh, books for four, please. <laughs> books for four. <laughs> Good luck. The 2002 autobiography of Lemmy, the founder and singer for the band Motorhead. <laughs> Time to play the game. What is White Line Fever? <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, I get that. I, yeah. Tell there. me you're addicted to cocaine without telling me you're addicted to cocaine. <laughs> there it is. Got it, got yeah, it. Pick it up what you're putting down. Uh, books for five. Books for five. While not strictly an autobiography, Decoded is a mosaic of personal essays, musical, musicological study, place history, and a hip-hop encyclopedia by this artist. Tim? Tim? Who is Jay-Z? Who is Jay-Z? Yo. Well, be darn. Tim jumping up to the tie with Mark. Jim with 500 points. The only thing left. 500. Before and after. Is dessert. Uh, before and after two. Before and after for two. A 1960 hit for Ben E. King and a song written by Chris Christopherson made famous by Janis Joplin. Mark. Mark. What is Stand By Me and Bobby McGee? What is Stand By Me and <laughs> Bobby McGee? That. Great job, Mark. That was a tough one. Uh, let's go to 300 for before and after. 300. A 1987 George Michael tune that could have been recorded by Johnny Rotten's band. Mark. Mark. What is I Want Your Sex Pistols? What is I want oh, your sex you pistols? Oh, you fucker. Mark's getting... Uh-oh. Mark's getting, learning what before and after is. I'm getting... Uh, I'm making a comeback. Let's go uh, 400 before and after. 400 before and after. Eric Clapton's first hit as a solo artist and a song by Gladys Knight and the Pips. What is after Midnight Train to Georgia? <laughs> well, let's close it up with that We're last clue. Close it up. A popular anti-establishment song by Creedence Clearwater Revival and a major hit for Dusty Springfield. I can't think of the second song. I can think of the first one. Okay, don't don't show it yet. Okay. This yeah. is a three season. Yeah, let's staple. let's work let's, uh, let's work through this. Work it out the first work one's it out. Fortunate Son, right? Yeah, Fortunate Son. What Dusty Springfield? Something with Son. Um. I can't, dude. I can't for the life of me, son. What is it, oh, Gramps? What do you think of G? Is a song by Dusty Springfield's son. <laughs> I got OG's oh, all. He's all emotional. Oh, he is emotional. 
Are you guys ready? Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna get it. I I've hit don't like. Don't think like, Dusty Springfield. Don't think Dusty Springfield. Yeah, you probably know this song way better. Uh, I know not Peg, by Dusty Springfield. Peg Bundy covered it. Yeah, for Sons of Anarchy. Is it? It's not Son um, of a Preacher Man, is it? It is Fortunate Son, Son of, of a Preacher Man. Oh, I had no. I idea. don't know that I did. I don't know that I realized that was Dusty Springfield. For being you honest about it, Dusty Rhodes. Who would who who would they have known it better by? Didn't uh, the Elvis. the Blues Brothers do "Son of a Preacher Man"? Yeah, who else is that? I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a female. Uh, didn't uh, Ozzy's daughter Kelly? Yeah, didn't Kelly didn't Kelly Osbourne do "Son of a Preacher Man"? I think so. Um, I feel like Dusty's the version you guys actually would know. Pull it up real quick. Give us uh, the very first bit of the Sunder. You guys, you have Joss, your hooked up. Joss Stone. Who's this? This is Dusty Springfield. I don't know. This is whatever's on the U- the Wikipedia page oh, for. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe, and that's actually the version I'm thinking of. So maybe I just didn't realize it was. It was uh, Dusty Springfield. I don't know why I was... I didn't realize it was a lady, Dusty. <laughs> I, I was thinking Dusty Rhodes, baby. Pull Dusty up uh, pull up real quick, female. Tim. Everybody's free to wear sunscreen. Yeah, let me and, pull like, that up. Listen to the very first... Because uh, you're absolutely going to remember it as soon as you hear it. Because Chris Rock covered it. In a comedy version. Are you serious? And you said that was by Baz Luhrmann, huh? Baz Luhrmann. Who directed the Elvis biopic? Class of 99. Wear sunscreen. If I could offer you only one tip for the future. You remember this? this? No, I don't remember this at all. would be it. Not a long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists. Is this Chris? Skip ahead. The rest of my advice. Until they fade it. But trust me. I don't remember this. Twenty years at all. Photos of yourself. No sex in the champagne room. You can't yeah. grasp now no how much possibility room. lay before you. Yep. No, fabulous. that I've never once heard that. Never. Wow. Never. If for, she's got a tongue ring, she'll probably suck, suck your, your dick. dick. If he's, he's got, got, a, got tongue a tongue wait, ring, so that was like a that was like not a cover but dick. like a parody. It's absolutely yeah, yeah. No, I show. I didn't even know Everybody's that. Free to wear sunscreen. Didn't even fucking know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, what did so, uh, what did Chris Rock go? He was like, he said, uh, there was a word he said. He goes something. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh. Cornbread. Cornbread. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a great. It's a great track. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah. I didn't know that was like a, a parody, and not didn't Do have a clue. Do you remember the the follow up song to that? No. So Chris Rock had a song after that called "I Drink Champagne." I never heard that. I'll look that up. I, I never drink heard champagne that. in the nude. I drink champagne with Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, y'all. It's all good, y'all. Yeah, man. So good. Yeah, I didn't. I on honest to god, I, and it, like it's funny because like I've done that with some like weird weird Al songs like over the course of my life. Like I've I've heard the weird Al songs, mm-hmm. and before like but when I was too young to really know that Weird Al was like a parody artist, and then I would hear the original, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> are you serious? I'm like, I didn't know that this was a thing, but. Oh, yeah, you learned something new. Well, that was that was the newest round Boring. of musical Jeopardy. Thanks, guys. That was fun. That was, it fun. was fun, dude. Honest to God, man, if you did an entire board of before and afters, I wouldn't hate it. Like now, I don't know if I could do all the same category. No, like but do I could one give you category an entire board of before and after, like before and after TV shows, before and after you know, yeah, just do five different oh, categories. Yeah. I could do that, but yeah. The thing I like most about my 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 Jeopardy is is I know all of the answers to everything that that I put up there, uh, except for some of like the statistically driven ones. But like I love you always forever by Donna Lewis will always be one of my favorite bops 
of the 90s. I had that shit on CD or a, a cassette single. And I played the shit out of yeah, it. Yeah, see, when I did when I did the WrestleMania Jeopardy, I had to have my notes because I did some hard research on it, but I didn't remember all the answers. <laughs> sure, yeah. But now the before and after oh. sometimes I look for for categories and clues, but then I just try to assemble what I can. But yeah, I, I love doing a Jeopardy. I really do. Oh, we got a cup. We got oh, the cup. I love a cup. What happened got... to the uh, Halloween bowl? I mean. They're here. I mean, do the cup then. But I get chastised. I didn't mean you to. I didn't want you, you to bend over twice. Basket. But I get so I I, I got a cup because I can fit my hand. I had in this an Easter cup. basket. Well, Easter's over now, Mark. It's over. Yeah, who? Yeah, and I don't well, get an Easter basket, Mark. I'm too old, I guess, or something. You put them away. Did you? Did you do an egg hunt? I love egg hunt. Oh, fuck, that's what stinks <laughs> in my house. Forgot the, the egg, ho- forgot to find the eggs. No, that's the egg. Oh, it's very different. <laughs> Did you see there was an egg hunt last week? I forget. Was it in Indiana or somewhere? And the adults just went nuts like it was for kids. And uh, the organizers issued an apology. That sounds like 2023. Adults, yeah. That... The adults like, <laughs> were like unbelievably out of control. Yeah, okay. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Yeah. I, I forget. Maybe it was Ohio. It was Midwest-ish. Wow. Yeah, that tracks. The, the adults. Cent- uh, Central. Yeah, Central. Jim, what's in, the, what's in the cup, Jim? So, what's in the box? Um, what's in the box? So, uh, previously I did one of these eliminate one from, from history deals. Um, oh, yes. Well, And since I knew you were doing a music Jeopardy, I thought, well, let's do a music edition of eliminate one from history. So, we're not like, we're not like, you know, ending people's lives or anything. We're just removing, let's say, their musical careers. From history. Okay, awesome. Okay. A whole music episode of 3CT. A whole music episode. Um, so let's start with this one. Eliminate one from history. Led Zeppelin. Uh, Black Sabbath. Judas Priest. Um, Ryan, we'll go to you first. Yeah, I would put Led Zeppelin in the main event. I hate Judas Priest. you so much. All right, so I'm eliminating one. I'm, I'm eliminating Judas Priest. Tim. I will also eliminate Judas Priest and Merc. Big Jim, I don't want to be breaking the laws, breaking the laws, but I'd eliminate Judas Priest. Yeah, I'll give my answers uh, for these as well. Uh, Is OG, can OG hear us? I want to hear OG's yeah. answers. Too. OG, who would you eliminate from music history if you had to pick one of those three? Judas Priest, Led Zeppelin, or Black Sabbath? Judas Priest. The OG is going with Judas, Judas Priest. Priest. Yeah, I, I, I'm going Judas Priest as well. It's a clean sweep That's across a clean the board. Sweep. Sorry, I to... didn't think we'd get any clean sweeps in music. There That's we go. I didn't think so already. either. We first one out of the gate. All right, next one: Elvis, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson. Oh, oh my god. god, that's so hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough that one. Hard. OG doesn't like it at all. Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of. This uh, is so hard. <laughs> I, I will never smoke weed with Willie again. All right. I have to get rid of Willie Nelson. Oh, Tim. I'm getting rid of Elvis. Oh. Goodbye, rock and roll. Mork. Yeah. Good to know you. I'd, I'd have to get rid of Johnny. Johnny oh. Cash. Oh. Gramps is upset. No his, his father just disowned him on the <laughs> he podcast. Sure did. He did. Oh. That, that who's, who's OG getting rid of? OG said Elvis. Elvis. Are you sure? He Ooh. nods his head affirmatively. Yeah, no. Johnny Cash. I uh, oh, I love Elvis too much, and I love Johnny Cash too much. So I gotta, I gotta go, Willie. Sorry, Willie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was a tough Three one. Words. All right, next one: the Beatles, the Monkees, the Rolling Stones. The Monkees, the Beatles. No questions asked. <laughs> Tim wow. didn't hesitate. Mark. Man, you, you lose everything with the Beatles. You lose John Lennon. You Good. Lose, uh, <laughs> you, you lose Paul McCartney. You lose send Ringo. It. Yep. Send, Man. Send it. You lose it's the greatest Christmas, Christmas song ever written. Yep. Send it. <laughs> it all go away. Was put it, how about you put it all in a box and then you send it down the river. Goodbye, Beatles forever. Wow. I, I was just listening to the Monkees today, and I actually saw them in concert once, so oh, wow. I don't have to go with the Rolling Stones. All right. OG. 
What do you think, monkeys. OG? OG's not fooling around. He's getting rid of the monkeys. 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 Man, I love that last train to Clarksville. Um, <laughs> well, one of my wife's favorite songs is is Wild Horses by the Rolling Stones, so I can't get rid of them. So I got to go. I got to go monkeys, unfortunately. Paul McCartney's one of the best concerts I've ever been to. So uh, cool. uh, you could have just gotten there. rid of. Yeah. So just so you know, you're getting rid of the Beatles. But Paul McCartney, if you get rid of the Beatles, Paul McCartney could still have a whole discography yeah, of his he own. Yeah, he could, but he's not guaranteed. Part of the reason that McCartney became a thing is because he was a Beatle. So I can't, yeah, I, I can't trust the hands of fate. But there That's was okay. someone else. There was a fourth Beatle before there was the uh, famous fourth Beatle, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a Beatle before they became famous. There was oh, another right. Beatle that the left the. He left the group. Ringo took his place. Ringo took his place. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I never knew Beatle. that. I never knew that. Never knew I'll look it up either. real quick. All right, next one there. we have right. Green Day songs. So we just we we just have to eliminate one of these Green Day songs. We have Welcome to Paradise, Basket Case, Nice Guys Finish Last. Do you know any Green Day songs, OG? I know the one, but that's. Uh, nice guys finished last. All right, the other Tim. two were from Duke. Yeah, they're they're too good to get rid of. Tim Stewart Sutcliffe, old Stu. Stu was the Sutcliffe. original right bassist stuff. of the Five Man Beatles. Oh, oh original so bassist? That would have been there. McCartney then. Then there was, there was Pete there. Best. Oh, Pete Best was the drummer. Pete Best was the first drummer. Uh, okay, so there's actually okay. six Beatles. Pete's second best. There were six Beatles. I didn't know that. Um, five, well, you said, all right, so Mark, said, let it be. You said, Welcome to Paradise. Basket nice case. Nice guys finish last and basket yeah. case. Nice guys finish last. All right, Mark. Yeah, it's got to be nice guys finish last. I think basket yeah. case is what broke them through to uh, superstardom. Yeah, and Welcome to Paradise. I love Nimrod, classic. too. That That's tough. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, Rimnod. Nice guys finish there. OG go. agrees with nice I, guys. Yeah, I agree there. with that one. I agree with that one. All right. So this one's a kind of a, a, a different layer. The Jackson 5's career or Michael Jackson's solo career? Ooh. Oh, Jackson Boy. 5's career. Get rid of that. All right. Tim? Michael Jackson's solo. Which, which, which careers? Touch. The Jackson uh, 5 uh-huh. or Michael Jackson's solo career. So it's just either or. Yeah, so this one's just either or. There's a couple just either or in here. Yeah, Jackson 5. Man, you hate to see it happen, but what do the other ones do? It's uh, the Jackson 5 goes bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Jackson 5. Oh, geez, I'm bored yeah, with that Yeah, well. yeah. My, Michael Jackson's solo career is, is just too good to lose. Yeah. All right, next one we have Limp Biscuit, Papa Roach, or Disturbed. Oh, my God. I thought this would be easier. <laughs> I don't know. It got easy. It got easy at the end. I'm about to get rid of Limp Biscuit. Oh shit, Tim. Yeah, Papa Roach was on a hell of a show. Disturbed. That guy's voice is so awesome. I couldn't get rid of Disturbed. Papa, yeah. All right, Limp Biscuit. Tim. Disturbed. All right, Mark. Yeah, I'd probably say Disturbed as well. I think OG's going to take a pass because he doesn't know. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I'd probably. Man. Um. I love the cover of um, "Sound of Silence," but uh, man, that that but first no speaking spell, dude. That first Limp Bizkit album, like that uh, that really hit it big. Um, the the name of the albums slipped my mind. Three dollar bill, y'all. You mean yeah. the one with Faith? No, 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 the one after that with because uh, Faith was three dollar bill, y'all. That was the one that really put yeah, it was significant rap. other, significant other. Yeah, man, that one just that hit me at the right time. And me. to this day, everything you do, Jim, is for the nookie. That's, he ain't lying. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. Make sure that house is clean when she gets home from Hawaii. That's, that's all for it. Uh, all right, next one. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Madonna. Christina Aguilera. Don't even think about it. Right. Madonna. Don't even think about it. Mark. Oh, it's got to be Christina Aguilera, and that's not an easy choice. All right. What do you think, OG? Who would you get rid of? Madonna. You'd get rid of Madonna. Yeah. I'm shocked. OG's getting rid of Madonna. No, nah, I'm going. I'm going. Christina, get out of here. 
All right, yeah, next one. A mystery. Next one. Garth Brooks, Brooks and Dunn, Toby Keith. Toby Keith. All right. Tim. Nope, I take it back already. Brooks and Dunn. Right. Brooks and Dunn. There Brooks and Dunn. All right. Uh, I, it was tough, but yeah, Toby Keith just puts on too much of a good show live. Yeah. Mark. No offense to Brooks or Dunn. I'd probably have to go with Brooks, and you might as well take Dunn out of there, too. <laughs> Brooks and Dunn. Brooks and Dunn for the OG as well. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going Brooks and Dunn. Ryan, if it wasn't, if if we take Toby Keith at it, we don't have one of our most ironic moments of our lives now. Looking back on it, blaring <laughs> courtesy of the red, white, and blue. And, yeah, that's sure. in a movie theater parking lot. All I've, right, uh, I've seen I've seen two of the three. Toby Keith does put on a great show. I'm sure he, he does. Sure um, does. Never I don't saw. know how much I'd love to see a Toby Keith show today. Oof, yeah. Nope. No, but, I don't. Uh, I'm wearing the shirt for it. I don't I need it. Right around like the I love this bar, Toby Keith. Like when that album came out. Yeah. Uh, um, Old Clancy's Tavern. Um, which it's the album that has Red Solo Cup on it, which is one of the worst songs ever recorded. But the rest, I love Red Solo Cup. <laughs> but the rest of that album is really, really, about Red Solo. Really, really fucking good. That album is that song. Yeah, Red it's Solo so Cup. bad. All Red right, Solo. Next one, Metallica songs, Fuel. Memory remains, or the Unforgiven Two. I don't mind the Unforgiven Two; that can stay. Fuel just is a NASCAR song. Memory remains, I enjoyed with the with the creepy old lady thing. I'm gonna get rid of Fuel. All right, Tim. And I can't, I can't do any of the. I can't replace with any of the new Metallica. Nope. Right? This is uh, of these. <laughs> Three songs. And they're it's all reload, ab- right? They are all reload, reload, yeah. Okay. It's absolutely not Unforgiven 2, because that's the best Unforgiven. He ain't lying. Um, he ain't lying. So it's between Memory Remains or Fuel. And fuel. Give me Fuel, give me Fire, <sighs> Zimma 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 Zire. Ooh. That's about it. Um... Memory remains. All right, Mark. Memory remains. I'm not familiar with him. Oh, she's taking a pass. That's fine. That's fine. That's a tough though. It, like, it's I tough. A coin. It is tough. I am going to go with memory remains. Tough. Real close. All right. Staying in the. I remember out back. Of our like Stay our house. neighbor's house, we had one of I'll those back. like they had one of those uh, backyard swings that they were kind of swinging on in that in the video, and I remember uh, singing it while rocking back and forth on there as like uh, a, okay. a bratty fucking kid. <laughs> um, all right, Kiss songs, all of them. Shut up, <laughs> asshole! Eat shit. Detroit Rock City, Beth, or shout it out loud. Um, no, Mark. F you to you. That's tough. Um, because Beth is uh, Beth's a beautiful song. I'm gonna say shout it out loud. All right, Tim. You know, I'm I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna throw away the one that I absolutely know. It's Detroit Rock City. Okay, Mark. Uh, you don't know Beth. I don't know either of the other two songs, no. Oh, my God. I'd be Beth shocked if you didn't know. One. I Actually, I'd be shocked if you didn't know either of them, but I'd be really shocked if you didn't know Beth. But Mark. Beth. I'd probably get rid of Detroit Rock City. What do you think, OG? Detroit Rock City. OG's on board with Detroit Rock City. I'll go. I'll go shout out loud. Um, I actually played in a in a Battle of the Bands. We opened with Detroit Rock City, so I, I got to keep Beth around. Beth, Beth it was written about his wife whose actual name was becky correct it was about peter's mom or his mom oh, mom okay. but yes her becky. name was becky it was going to be called beck but gene thought that might be confused for jeff beck and then there'd be might might be a lot of confused people at least that's about the guys that wear makeup on stage <laughs> correct <laughs> correct got it correct got it. keep your bud light um all right uh next one hootie and the blowfish Soundgarden, Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, man. I have grown to appreciate the Smashing Pumpkins so much recently. Not enough to pick. 
and save them over Hootie Wee! or <laughs> or, or Soundgarden. So I have to get rid of the Smashing Pumpkins. I... I'm getting rid of Soundgarden because if I got rid of Smashing Pumpkins, I lose that meme. And I want that meme forever and eternity. That's true. Uh, Mark. So, yep. Oh, my gourd. I got to get rid of the Smashing Pumpkins. All right. I said gourd. I get it. I see what you did there. OG's oh, getting rid of Soundgarden. That's a shocker. Oh, wow. Only um, super unknown with OG. Um, I'm probably going sound, uh, Soundgarden as well. I got to keep that meme around. I got to. I got to, Ryan. A it's a meme over Black Hole Sun. Get the hell yeah, out of here. I was just saying. All right. Now, this one, hopefully OG is a mop. He might have to clean up Mark's head when it explodes on this one. This is a two-parter in either or. The Jess Zimmerman Band or Bowser from Sha Na Na. <laughs> I have seen the Jess Zimmerman Band play. I'll get rid of Bowser from Sha Na Na. Oh, my gosh. Can I get rid of Donkey Kong? No, you can't get rid of Donkey I did OG, and I ain't taking it back. <laughs> I know I know the Jess Zimmerman from the Jess Zimmerman band. Uh, I have to go Bowser from Shana. Oh, boy. Mark. Man, Big Jim, can you believe for over 50 years, Bowser made a living out of doing this? I can believe so that. I got to get rid of Jess Zimmerman band. I'm sorry, Jess. I'll see you at the fairs. She's upset. Mm. She's uh, upset. OG, you got to keep him Yeah, OG's getting, he's a tear in his eye, but he said just Zimmerman band. All right. Um, All right Jim, you're the deciding vote Jim. here. I'm going to leave the podcast if you vote wrong. Um, I mean, I got to support local artists, so I got to get rid of Bowser from Sha Na Na. I thought you were going to be a real son of a bee and be like, I got to support local artists, so I'm getting rid of I'm getting rid of the Jess <laughs> So she can get a real job. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right. Send that bee back to the tropical smoothie. That's right. Uh, all right. Queen songs. We will rock you. We are the champions. Another one bites the dust. We will rock you. Um, technically, the first two songs are, are the, the same. same song. No, they're not. They're so separate tracks. It's the same song. It's not the same song. Is it really listed as separate tracks on, on the album? Track one and track two? No. It's We Will Rock You, We Are The Champions. It is a slash song. I thought it was a slash as well. Oh, uh, hold on. I mean, you don't ever get them played separately either, do you? You can. I just, I don't, I don't ever hear it on the radio. I don't listen to the radio. Who am I talking about? On the track listing on the original release of Queen News of the World, track one, We Will Rock You. Track two, We Are the Champions. There it is. All right. They bleed right into one another. And a lot of times when they are put on compilation albums or something like that, they are We Will Rock You slash We Are the Champions, but they are two separate songs. It's the same song, therefore another one bites the dust goes away. Uh, did Mark a Mark actually left? I think Mark's internet went or his phone went kaputski. Sure it did. OG OG shifted in his chair. Took out the whole hot and took out the whole internet. Um, I oof. did you Why? pay your dues, Jim? Time after time, um. I love another one bites the dust, and um, there is a great moment. There is a great moment of the Washington Capitals players drunkenly singing "We Are the Champions" after winning the Stanley Cup. So I got to get rid of "We Will Rock You." All right, next one: uh, the Eagles, Aerosmith, Boston. Um, Boston. I knew Eagles would be safe. Um, Boston. Yeah. Tim, why why would I know Boston? More than More a feeling. Than a feeling. Amanda, I'm, taking, I'm I'm getting rid of the Eagles. Um, man, uh, no, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Boston here. I gotta go. Boston here. From Boston. <laughs> uh, Mark, <laughs> this one is uh, the Eagles. Um, Aerosmith and uh, Boston. 
Boston's gone. Boston's what do you gone. think, OG? I guess I'll have to go with you, Boston. He's, OG's going to Boston. That's a good choice. All right. Did I miss anything when I lost my connection? What was the one before that? I don't even remember. I think you missed one. Uh, the Queen songs. Oh, yeah. Oh, we will rock you. We are the champions or another one bites the dust. I hope probably another one bites the dust. And I don't like it, but I'd have to do it. All right. What do you think, OG? How about we will rock you? All right. Oh, OG. Jeez, All right. Come Again, if you're just tuning in, OG is Mark's father, right? You you address your I, father as OG. Yes, sir. As OG, the original Gramps. Yes. And that stands for <laughs> original Gramps. Setting in OG beside Gramps. Mark on the show tonight. He just magically showed up at Mark's door. Love it. Uh, uh, on this Tuesday afternoon. This Tuesday morning. Uh, Tuesday morning. G- GNR, Guns N' Roses songs. Night Train, Welcome to the Jungle, Sweet Child of Mine. Uh, Night Train's an underrated bop, but Night Train's got to go here. All right, Tim. They played Night Train instead of Patience. F Night Train. (laughs) I love Night Train. Can't nobody tell me they love Night Train. I love Night Train. Because I'm on the Night Train bottoms up. I got to go with Sweet Child O' Mine. I will go um, Sweet Child of Mine because then we wouldn't get the god-awful Cheryl Crow cover. That's fair. I'm sorry, did I jump? I jumped in front of OG, Mark. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Does he he have one for this, Mark? OG's going with the night train. The night train. All right. He's the conductor. All right. Uh, We'll do do a couple more here. Uh, Nirvana, Radiohead. Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains. Alice in Chains, Radiohead, and who? Nirvana. I don't care for any of them. The one that's not Alice in Chains or Nirvana. Radiohead. 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 All right, Mork. I was safe. I was going to say Alice... In her chains. How about OG? What do you think? Yeah, Alex in chains. He likes Alice from the Brady Bunch, but not Alice when she's All in right. chains. Get rid of Nirvana. Oh, get rid of Nirvana. I don't have to people hear people overselling that band anymore if we get rid of Nirvana. Uh, all right. Uh, Lou Bega, Chumbawamba, <laughs> Marcy Playground. Oh. Marcy Playground never cared for the for their song. Never cared for Sex and Candy. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, never did it. For oh me. my God, I the love other, that. The song. other two were certified bops in, in Ryan's book, though. Oh man! All right, Tim. That's two for Marcy's Playground. Oh, you guys are killing me, Mark. I hate, hate Chubbawamba. They can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. All right, OG. Which one do you think, OG? I'll have to pass. OG's not familiar, but I'm going to vote for him and say Chubba Wamba. <laughs> um, I'm going to go Lou Bega. If I don't ever have to hear Mambo number five, I, I haven't heard that song in years. And I feel and like down. you can put that on right now, and I'm singing every word. Oh, oh I'm singing every word because it's been burned into my brain. I, I've been. Um, oh. He will have. No, oh, it's so bad. All right. Tool, a perfect circle. Nine inch nails. Uh tool. Okay. Tim. A perfect circle. Mork. A perfect circle. A perfect circle. Oh, she doesn't like the perfect circle either. He's I'm gonna go tool guy. because I think if we get rid of tool, we probably get rid of a perfect circle. <laughs> hmm. That's that's a good point. All right. A perfect uh, circle had one song I really, really liked in college. Oof, I couldn't I can't even. remember what it is. I couldn't either. Um, all right, next one. ACDC, The Who, or Foreigner? What is it? Oh, my goodness. ACDC, The Who, or Foreigner? Foreigner. Uh, holy cow, this is hard. Holy, holy cats. cats. <laughs> oh, 
Holy cats. Oh, I hate uh, I'm going to have to say, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I seriously going to? I'm going to pick the who. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Tim. I make it two for the who. Oh, my God. Who? 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 More. Make it three for the who, oh. even though I'm a pinball wizard. Who? Who would you get rid of, Gramps? The, the, uh, the who? Yeah. Oh, Make my it four God. for the who. Wow. No, I'm uh, out of these. I'm going to get rid of Foreigner. I want to know who would love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Man, man. It, what, a, what a bop. It doesn't I, get better the than who that is, The who might be in my top five. I love the who. I really do. You need a new top five, my uh, guy. Shut, ah. shut your hole. Um, you can get rid of Kiss while you're at it. Eat, shut the hell up. Uh, Blink-182 songs. Blink-182 songs. Uh, damn it. All the small things. What's my age again? What was the middle one? Uh, the middle one was damn all it. the small all things. The small things. Uh, boy, I feel like Dana was one that really, really broke in on. Um, but I feel like I, I just have to get rid of that. I love the other two. All right, yeah, Tim. We'll get rid of Dammit. To see what the. Um. Oh, uh, okay. That's damn it. Um, still damn it. All right, Mork. What were the options? I, I'm keeping all the small things. I can tell you that right damn now. Damn it. All the small things. What's my age again? Oh, damn it's gone. What do you think, OG? Do you know any of those songs? I don't know any of them. OG's going to take a bye. Um, Ryan, what's the one that, that, that they did that Trump turned the lights off? That was all my, all the small it things. So, I wanna go. Turn these lights off. That's... um. <laughs> So, uh, all the small things. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I gotta get rid of what's my age again then, because my wife, my wife's oh, favorite Blink song is "Damn It." So I, it is. I gotta keep that. Is one. it really? Yeah, I gotta keep her I happy. Know that. I'm going back to the Limp Biscuit. She's a good girl. Let's do. Uh, let's do two more this week, and then we'll we'll have a couple. We'll have a couple for next week. How about that? We'll do two more this week. We'll go to this one in sync. The Backstreet Boys or New Kids on the Block? New Kids on the Block. New Kids. Adios in sync. <sighs> Who would you get rid of, OG? In sync? You'd get rid of the New Kids. Your daughter loves the New Kids. Uh... Your daughter loved them growing up. Okay, he, that's Mark. <laughs> she was a huge <laughs> fan. No, actually, I didn't really care for him, and I saw them in concert now three times, and I'll tell you what, I hate to say it. But they're extremely good. Who? The new kids. I didn't really. They're really good in concert. Don't let them lie to you, OG. Oh, I'm sorry, OG. They don't let them influence. I will get rid of... Uh, man, I did have one of the really big buttons back in the day, but I'll get rid of new kids on the block. You it had was, a new kids button, Big Jim? Sure uh-huh. did. One of the big ones, too. Uh, 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 was, it, was it the whole group? or was it Yeah, Donnie? yeah, it was the whole group and had their logo it was on just it. Just Donnie. Just Donnie. <laughs> but the whole group. All right. Last one for this week. We'll close up uh, a couple more of these next week, uh, so then Matt can weigh in on them as well. We'll go Corn, Bon Jovi, the Black Crows. Corn. Um, let's see here. Uh, what did Corn sing? OG would like to know what Corn sang. Um, Freak on a Leash. Song "What's Up" by Cameo. Freak on a Leash. Adidas. Leash got the life. Right. Got the Adidas. life. Adidas. Thoughtless. 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 Thoughtless sounds right. Um, they played the bagpipes. I saw Corn play the bagpipes in concert when they opened for Megadeth. I believe that. I believe that. I would probably have to say the Black Crows, because outside of She Talks to Angels and their other song, I'm not sure of their catalog. Jake, Jake, your money maker. What was that? The uh, hard to handle. They had that that's hard to big... handle. Right. That was a, the, that, that was the a, other one. That was a cover. Hey, little thing. Let me let you. Oh wait. Is it, was it really? I didn't know that. Uh, so I'm, yeah, black crows. Can of corn. I'm recently certain like uh was it uh, what's the uh hard to handle is the cover. I'm almost positive. Um it's black crows for me. 
Black Crows for Tim. Mark? Uh, I would get rid of the uh, of corn with a K. Yeah, corn. OG doesn't like corn. He likes cream corn. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll get I'll get rid of corn for my for myself as well. All right, boys. That's gonna wrap us up. Anything else to uh, close up with? No? How was your Easter, OG? Good. Good. Yeah. OG had a great Easter, everybody. Man, well, thank thank you, OG, <laughs> for sitting in with out. us. That was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. A nice run in from the OG. Yeah. Do you have any parting words? Any uh, words of wisdom? Live long and prosper. There we go. Oh, there you go. Doesn't get any better than that. Three Count Thursday, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, threecountthursday.com. We'll talk to you Thursday night, live, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Until then, stay safe, stay smart. Go for the pin. <laughs>